Which add-on services should you be offering? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. You know, when we first get started in the cleaning business, we typically are just offering general cleaning. You know, that's where we're just going in and vacuuming, mopping, dusting, cleaning restrooms, dumping trash, doing all the basics. You know, and that's fine, but you know, I think you really should start thinking about being a full service. Um, and what I mean by that, that means that we're offering uh, stripping and waxing, carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, window washing, you know, all these uh, additional add-on services. These additional add-on services can make you a lot of money. I mean, well, for example, uh, just for carpet cleaning. Uh, for carpet cleaning, you should be able to make, on average, $150 an hour. That's, that's a lot of money. So why would you not offer that service? You know, sure, at, at the beginning, maybe you might contract it out, but I would advise you as fast as you can, gain the knowledge, the training, and expertise that you need to provide carpet cleaning because, you know, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. As I said, on average, $150 per hour. So, you know, when you, and I would probably say that would be the first add-on uh, service to offer uh, because it is uh, an easy entry. Um, so when you think about carpet cleaning, what you're going to need is you're going to need a, a hot water extractor. Uh, I would advise you not to go out and buy a truck mount. You know, you're going to be spending, uh, you know, 75000 or more dollars uh, for, for a complete setup. Uh, just go ahead and buy a portable uh, extractor. Um, and there's many of them out on the market that are just excellent machines. And what you'll do is because of the portable extractor, you'll be able to bring it into the location and be in a secure area. You won't have hoses drug through doorways, up hallways, and up stairwells and things like that. You don't have to pay somebody extra to stand at a door and make sure that nobody comes into the facility. So that's what I'd advise. Look for a machine that uh, would have a PSI of 0 to 1200. Now why I'm recommending that is because that PSI uh, on the machine we're able to do more than just clean carpets. And that's what I always like to do is if I, when I buy a piece of equipment I want to make sure I can do more than just one thing with that piece of equipment to generate revenue. And for a portable extractor with a 0 to 1200 PSI, I'm able to clean carpets, clean upholstery, clean hard floors. And when I talk about hard floors, I'm talking ceramic and tile and stone. So that's why I would do that. Um, so we would have an additional, uh, additional piece of equipment to buy, uh, which would be, you know, like an SX-15. Uh, so we'd have a wand for our hard floor surfaces. But again, you know, that investment is going to make you a lot of money. Um, you know, the carpet cleaning on average is $150 per hour. Uh, hard floor care, such as doing ceramic tile and grout and stone cleaning, um, you know, it could be anywhere from $1, $1.50, $2 a square foot, you know, depending on what you're doing. Uh, so, you know, you can see how you, it, it's a lucrative uh, add-on service to where you can make some, some great revenue. So that's what I'd recommend. Uh, the next one would be uh, stripping and waxing. Now, stripping and waxing, uh, you'll be able to strip and wax resilient floors, such as VCT, vinyl. Uh, then you'll also be able to scrub ceramic tile and grout, you know, uh, so you can clean that and seal grout. Uh, you'll be able to scrub floors. It wouldn't matter if it's a concrete floor or if it's, a, you know, a brick or whatever it is. Uh, so, you know, that offers another uh, opportunity for you to pick up additional uh, accounts um, providing these add-on services. So when we talk about uh, stripping and waxing, you know, that there you can get started by uh, purchasing a slow speed, a 175 RPM slow speed uh, swing machine and a wet vacuum. That will get you into, uh, you know, into the uh, floor care business. Because now, you know, you typically already have mops and uh, uh, mops and buckets and things like that. So because when you're stripping and waxing, you're going to apply your stripper or your solution, you're going to scrub it, you're going to pick it up with a wet vacuum, you're going to uh, neutralize it with a mop, let it dry, and then you're going to apply your finish. Really, that's all there is to it. There's not, not a whole lot to it. So by buying that uh, 175 RPM slow speed floor machine, uh, you're going to be able to strip, you'll be able to scrub, you'll be able to do a lot of other things too. So the other nice thing is too is with that floor machine that you'll, you're going to be able to bond a carpet. So great thing, uh, great piece of equipment, does multiple things for you, generates a lot of revenue. Now another add-on that you might think about is window washing. Uh, window washing, 
is a great way to build revenue also. Uh, I would advise that whenever you can try to stay on the ground floor because whenever you get up on a ladder your insurance company is going to probably cringe about that and they're going to raise your rates more than likely. Uh, you can do multiple floors from the ground level if you use a pole system. Uh, we used to use a Tucker pole system and we'd go up three stories and that's all the higher we ever went. We didn't, you know, we're not interested in going any higher. Um, and it worked out great for us. So we were able to wash all these windows up to the third floor just standing on the ground level with a Tucker pole system and using DI water. So you can think about that. There's so many, so many ways to get into the window washing uh, service uh, and very, very inexpensive. So uh, something else to think about is eventually maybe you're going to offer uh, upholstery cleaning uh, to where you're cleaning office chairs or just uh, for residential you're cleaning uh, sofas and uh, love seats and, and uh, things like that there. You know, there's some very good money in that. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, so I would advise that if you are just a general cleaning uh, service, doesn't matter if you're commercial or residential, I would highly recommend that you think about adding on some add-on services because you're leaving a lot of money on the table if you're not. Uh, like I say, it doesn't matter if you're commercial or residential. On the residential side, your carpet cleaning, you actually can make a little bit more money uh, on that side because the square foot pricing is a little higher. Uh, you may see prices around uh, you know, 25 cents, 30 cents a square foot, where on the commercial side, it'd be 18 to 21 cents. And it really depends on where you're located throughout the United States. But you can see where you, know, you can uh, make some significant amount of money uh, just by providing those add-on services. So the other thing that this does is by having, having, being a full service is that it keeps your competition out of your accounts. Because if you're not offering carpet cleaning, somebody's coming in and cleaning those carpets. And if they're a full service janitorial company, well, they're probably uh, talking to the person and letting them know that, hey, you know, besides cleaning carpets, we also do janitorial and hard floors and so on and so forth. Um, I've used that strategy many times to, to take over accounts. Uh, the other nice thing is too is when you're providing these types of add-on services that uh, you can uh, market to uh, in-house uh, companies that, that are doing their cleaning in-house where those people generally don't have the knowledge to do stripping and waxing, carpet cleaning and some of these other add-on services. Great way to get your foot in the door. Once you get your foot in the door, now you can work on getting the entire account. I've done that many a times. So it's a great strategy. So uh, think about it, uh, you know, uh, sure, it's a little bit of an investment. You know, you have to get training, you have to, you have to learn how, how to do things properly and get some, get some good equipment, but it's going to pay, pay back tenfold. So that's a, that's a fact. I know that to be a fact. Uh, so that's, that's why I always invest in training and good equipment because I know it's going to pay back uh, tenfold and more. Anyway, that's all I have on this subject, so uh, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, start thinking about adding on services uh, so you can uh, increase your revenue. And, uh, you know, if you like the, the tips I gave here, please click on the like and share button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have hundreds of videos on how to build a successful cleaning company. So until then, we'll see you.